so for the students who are new welcome to the child psychiatry lecture series this is the third lecture in the sequence uh, probably i assume that even if you have joined late uh, you might have seen the first two recorded lectures on intellectual disability and a communication disorder so i hope you like them and you have read them from the textbooks and understood some part of it i have already received the feedbacks thank you so much for the response and now we have reached in this module more than 240 psychiatry resident listeners i am very overwhelmed with the response thank you so much so without wasting any time today i am taking you to the third and the most important topic of child psychiatry what is the topic today all of you know this autism spectrum disorder as most of you know that i am a teacher in dams for undergraduates to undergraduates i teach child psychiatry 40 minutes with 15 minutes of autism to post graduates i am teaching child psychiatry 16 hours with 4 hours of autism this is the only topic in the child psychiatry series where i have designated two lectures because as a psychiatrist you are supposed to know most of the things about autism now what is the basic principle in md uh you must know most of the things about the important topic and you must know some things about a less important topic for example in communication disorder even if you know the types names and the key features it's sufficient but in adhd autism etc suppose say schizophrenia you are supposed to know in depth i hope you get it and probably most of you have seen the cases of autism also if we have third year residents although few first years might not have seen i'm not sure but uh, most of you have seen it's a common presenting patient in our opd okay so before i go with the write up first of all unlike communication disorder who first go to pediatrician later are referred to the psychiatrist or intellectual disability which only present at the time of behavioral abnormality to a psychiatrist i am correlating with the first two lectures autism is that disorder which first presents to the psychiatrist all right shall we go ahead i hope the voice and video and audio is comfortable and visible to all Shadha, uh, please go back and start. So, autism is that one patient which all of you have probably seen. All right. Let me give you a background before I start writing about autism. This is that patient in child psychiatry, which, like intellectual disability, we don't have much to do. I'm not making you hopeless at the beginning of the topic, but it is a that type of a neurodevelopmental disorder where. it's very difficult to comment upon the prognosis to the relatives i'm telling you one practical situation suppose i diagnose a patient with autism or let's say asperger rets which are not very common presentation in the opds the first question is of the parents will he ever be okay that's very difficult to answer because this neurodevelopmental disorder is one of its kind which have a guarded prognosis so high functioning autism there is a concept high functioning autism less of the mental retardation we'll talk about it which have a little better prognosis but otherwise prognostically speaking autism is one of the that neurodevelopmental disorder which doesn't have that great a prognosis moreover there are limited uh, treatment modalities we shall be discussing management part in the next session but uh, i'm just giving you a brief idea that as far as management is concerned 
uh, we have limited pharmacotherapy options that too for the control of symptoms not for the disease itself and we have limited behavioral therapy options because it's not easy to do the behavioral therapy also in autistic children so this disorder needs your attention but the good part is if you do an early intervention please remember in child psychiatry early intervention means before three years this is an mcq i know few students are here who are here for the preparation of dm or pdf child psychiatry so i shall be telling a significant number of mcqs as well so it's like um, early intervention is be of four three years so the concept of autism i shall be discussing with you in following headings definition concept of spectrum nosology that is the classification system especially what is change in dsm 4 tr and dsm 5 as usual our diagnostic criteria in dsm 5 today i would also speak a little bit about etio pathogenesis then the major focus of the session today shall be on the clinical features okay then comorbidities differential diagnosis that you need to keep in mind then your prognosis something i have already spoken about subtypes and last but not the least management if you have seen the schedule i have mentioned autism concept and approach for today and i have mentioned autism subtypes and management for tomorrow i mean not tomorrow next session so technically speaking these all are the topics for today that is 22nd january and these will be for the 29 january i have spent more time on subtypes and management because you know uh management of autism spectrum disorder is a separate question asked in the md and dnb examination plus when we talk about subtypes there are individual questions being asked on red syndrome individual question being asked on aspergers hellers etc so i need a couple of hours for subtypes and management so that we shall do in the next session but today also we have almost 8 9 headings where we are supposed to discuss autism have you copied these the students who are new we are making notes on the chapters uh, important for your exam important for your knowledge the conceptualization the take home messages and you know this is the bare minimum you need to remember about autism if you remember more than this very good you know some students were asking me sir are you teaching ctp are you teaching oxford are you teaching kaplan i am teaching what i feel is necessary for a resident the basis and obses but i am adding few points here and there you know the idea is it's not important how much you have read it's important how much out of what you have read you remember suppose i say to you the word autism up to how many minutes can you speak without using the book i can speak for 6 hours about autism without using the book but i don't want you to be at that level because in our md exam the autism question will be hardly 15 minutes 30 minutes long question or even if the viva goes on autism you will be asked 30 minutes so you should have sufficient information at the background for your exam plus for patient management whatever you need in autism 
that I shall be discussing. You know, uh, if you feel there is something to be added, I suggest post this class immediately for those who want to read child psychiatry in depth. Open Rutters. You know, I believe Rutters is better than CTP. And in each of these headings, add a few points. A good book for child psychiatry is uh, by Professor Savita Malhotra that I read during my MD days and uh, you can get a good points from that also. But for the time being, let's start. What do you mean by autism? Autos meaning self. Okay, these are the children who are preoccupied with themselves and living in their own private world. This is the meaning of the word autism, autos. From where it has been derived, autos. Autism means autos. Preoccupied with themselves and living in their own private world. You know, some people call it as self-obsessed. Some people call it as self-confined. Some people call it as living within themselves. That's autos. Autism. Alright. So, what is the definition of autism spectrum disorder? The first heading. Definition. These are a group of disorder These are a group of disorder 